Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Sam from Education Hunt. Thanks for stopping by. This week, uh, we got another good one with Linky Dink. Before we get started, a uh, quick rundown. Education Hunt brings you the best in ed tech uh, delivered each Tuesday. We seek out, we scour, and then we find two high-impact ed tech resources, and then we uh, throw in one that definitely grabs my attention, bends my ear, something that um, just needs to be shared out, satisfies my ADD and then we bundle it up, put it together, and send it out each Tuesday in a nice, neat package. So best in ed tech, uh, we pride ourselves on being the most productive 45 seconds of your Tuesday. Certainly, if you haven't signed up, do that now. Click the button uh, over here and make sure that you subscribe and you can be in the ranks for free and you can know what's up after that. Um, this week, we got a pretty sweet um, resource for you. It's called Linky Dink. Come see. Linky Dink in addition to being super fun to say, is actually super valuable. Um, this week, let's see how many times I can work in the name Linky Dink. Um, what it does, I think, is it satisfies a, a problem that probably most teachers are unaware of. We need to do better at sharing between teachers and students. And the reality is there's just not too many tools available um, for free or low cost out there. So I think it, it's not only a problem, but it probably um, is a problem that some of us are unaware of. And so to that end, let me introduce you to Linky Dink. It's the simplest way to share links with your team. And before we get going, they, they give you two little quick highlights, and I think it, it sums everything up. Um, when you create a Linky Dink team, you can invite uh, people to contribute. So you can invite some to contribute. Here's my Highly uh, extension. Also, I did a review of Highly a couple weeks back. Big uh, fan of those guys. Um, but over here, you can invite team members to contribute. So that's one function. And then what you do over here is you have the option to invite everyone else to subscribe. So you can look, see, and listen, but you can't speak. So anyone that's heard of Product Hunt, I think uh, that would give you a beautiful idea of how it lays out. You've got makers and you've got people invited to the con community to share and speak and then contribute and then you have everyone else that is there to consume for free um, i'm on product hunt it was kind of a, a big deal for me the day i got an invite to uh, contribute so that i could then start sharing some of the things out from education hunt with the product hunt community um, then transitioning to the the contributing side so very easy to get sidetracked. Let's let's go back. What in the hell does that have to do with education? Well, um, two ends, teachers and then students. Invite your team to contribute. How cool would it be if you had everyone in your subject area that was on your Linky Dink team, then adding resources as you guys work, right, to then be shared out not only with fellow teachers, but then with students and an explanation why. So it really does come down to working smarter, not harder. And let me show you uh, what that would actually look like. So, of course, um, we've got a Linky Dink account. It's integrated with Twitter to sign in. So if you uh, visit Linky Dink and, and want to um, subscribe to our feed, uh, you can certainly do that. We've got an education hunt team. And so all the resources I find and kind of scour, I've started adding those to um, the team on Linky Dink. I don't have any contributors at this time. So if you would like to contribute, all you got to do is shoot me an email, igniteduval at gmail.com. And then um, just let me know why you think you should be able to contribute. And then uh, I can add you from that point. So here's what um, the user side is going to look like. You can see all the different links that I've been grabbing. And then as they're added to your account, you can add it and then say cool things about it, about why it would be neat. Uh, let's go to the older posts. And let me give you an example. So let's say that we want to add Education Hunt to uh, Linky Dink. So right here, you just click the extension. It makes it super simple. Link this page. We're going to link that to Education Hunt. Why are we going to write about this? It's uh, the best in ed tech delivered each Tuesday for free. So this would be a valuable website for anyone looking to up their game and we click add and that's going to drop into the education hunt um, linky dink 
yay, we got your link. Let's go back and then take a look and see what that looks like. And boom, right here, the best in ed tech delivered each Tuesday for free. And uh, let's say that we got another thing. Seriously, it is. And what you can see there very quickly, it integrates the Twitter. So anyone that's going to be on Twitter, you can jump in and then follow from them there. Um, and then adding comments, this would be limited to those that you put as contributors to the group. So let's um, give you your 30 second lesson plan idea. All right, 30 seconds, here we go. The problem, communication. Um, the challenge, there's not a lot of great products out there that links teachers and students with a safe filter. The solution, Linky Dink. Um, create a team or add a group invite all your coworkers that are going to be in that same subject area. So whether if you're a U.S. history teacher or a geography teacher or an algebra one teacher, as you go through that planning process, you're going to find a lot of cool stuff. Um, and the idea is not sharing it through email. We hate email. We want to be a little bit more efficient. So you invite them to that Linky Dink team. And then from there, they're going to be able to contribute. The cool thing is you can then share this with your students. But the beautiful part, unless they're invited to contribute, which I wouldn't do, they can only see but not speak. So they can consume all the good things that you have out there. And as a team of teachers, you're actually working together to share out to that pot of students. So you're impacting not only your own pot of 150 or 200 some odd students, it would be the entire department. So if one of your goals is in increasing communication and um, increasing the service to your students, not just within a class, but across the department, this is a mind just it's a mind melting, easy way to do it. And it's it's totally free. Um, the one rub that they ask, I think it's totally worth it. We're done with our 30 second lesson plan. We're moving on. But the, the one rub that they that they do ask, and I think it's a totally great value. Uh, otherwise, I, I wouldn't um, say it is that if you invite more than five contributors, then they ask that, uh, hey, if you like it that much, just kick us five bucks. I'd say that would be five dollars well spent, especially if the goal is to, to share out amongst teachers and students. Um, it's like uh, push bullet, but a little bit, I don't know, easier and, and better because I'm always looking at how to share things out. What it doesn't have is it doesn't have that push feature. So they, they'd actually have to subscribe um, to your stream to, to get tuned in. But it, it's super simple to do to set them up and go through. Um, that's me, Sam. I'm Sam again for your 30 second lesson plan idea this week using Linky Dink. And um, just a reminder, you know, Education Hunt, we bring you the best in ed tech delivered every Tuesday, three high impact resources delivered straight to your inbox. Uh, pride it as being the best 45 seconds of your Tuesday. The idea is you, you come in and you get uh, some of the best that uh, is out there. So we do all the hard work so you don't have to. And then we try to take it a step further. And um, every other week we'll post videos sharing 30 second lesson plans ideas that go sometimes a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but you get the value from it with uh, if it was us or if it was me, how would I use this in my class? I'd give you kind of that, that idea to get the ball rolling. Shoot me an email. You can cont contact me. I'm Sam at igniteduval at gmail.com. Like us on Facebook, search for Education Hunt, give us a like. Or if you want to hook up on Twitter and um, tell me what you think, uh, do that. Ignite Duval at greater than a thousand. Guys, I'm Sam. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Until next time, take care.